Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to add localization to a React app. Uh, it means that, uh, that your React website can be uh, translated to multiple languages. In order to do that, we need to create a folder inside our project, doesn't really matter which path, called Locals. And inside Locals, we should config our wanted language as well. I want English and, uh, for example, French. A folder for each one and inside each folder we need to add a config file I mean uh, not a config but a JSON file let's call it global.json and inside this uh, for example my website is going to have a header so I add the header in English like this and also for French with the same name header okay and then next step is to go to our index.js but make sure you have already installed uh, i18 next and react i18 next as we need them and we need to initialize it right here inside our index.js in it and make sure uh, it is uh, imported from the right library by the way and interpolation is one of the fields that we're going to uh, declare and it is an object inside which we set the ex uh, we set the escape value to false so like this okay next field is actually our language uh, the default language actually which is English and the next field is our uh, English config which is uh, the JSON file that we just created so let's import it right here uh, I call this global English make sure the path is right and uh, then add it add, add, as the config to your English field and for the French field we have almost the same thing add the import okay let me change the name to French and also the right path okay and then uh, this name should be here as a config for our French all right and the last step inside index.js is to scroll down inside react strict mode add a new tag called i18 next provider okay make sure it is spelled right and then uh, cut the app tag and put it inside here okay and also we need to set one of the fields inside this tag called i18 n which is equal to rendered value of i18 next so we just uh provided and uh, we just imported here okay so the changes and this is actually a component that i created to test our app as you can see uh we have a change language and a use translation and make sure the default value of use translation is the same name as your json files which is global here in my case and also i'm adding uh two change language buttons for English and French each time I call my change language and uh, pass the language to it and uh, what I render in the h2 tag is the header inside my JSON file as you can see it's working that's all thanks for watching